Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I've got another divisibility problem and once again I really like to hit this subject hard because not only could it show up in its own right on the GED but it's usually the main concept students struggle with and that's what makes fractions and factoring and a lot of other math concepts so challenging. So let's take a look. It says which of the following are multiples of three. So first you just have got to understand what a multiple is. And a multiple is a number on a num another number's times tables. I'm giving a pretty simplistic definition, but I'll show you what I mean by this. Like the three times tables, you know, starts, if I'm talking about multiples of three, I'm talking about numbers on the three times tables. So, you know, we go three, six, nine, and most of us have them memorized three, six, nine, twelve, up to at least three times ten, thirty. And so if you have them memorized up that far, that could help you know that twelve is a multiple of three. But it won't help you with the larger numbers. So you have a couple of choices, just like when you're talking factors, factors, multiples, divisibility, um, it, or divisible, uh, any three of these words, you could always use long division to test. You could test if a number was on three times tables by dividing it by three. So for example, 51, I could just divide it by three and see if I get a remainder or not. If I get a remainder, it's not on threes times tables. It didn't go in perfectly. But if I don't get a remainder, it is on threes times tables. So let's just check it out. If I was doing it this way, and I drop this one, and three goes into 21 seven times perfectly with no remainder. So since there's no remainder, I can see that definitely um, 51 is on threes times tables. If I did three by three times 17, even though I don't have it memorized up that high, I'd get 51, okay? So 51 is divisible by three, or it's a multiple of three, same thing. Divisible by three, a multiple of three, uh, means the same thing. Um, that being said, students don't like long division. Students often mess up long division. And I, as a mathematician, personally, am too lazy to keep on doing long division over and over again when there is something beautiful called the divisibility tricks. So, the divisibility trick is that you need is going to depend on which number we're looking for multiples of. So we're looking for multiples of three. So you hopefully know, if you don't know, Google this term, sum of digits. The divisibility trick for three is known as a sum of digits. And you go to know sum means add. And digits are the individual symbols within a number. So if we're going to do a sum of digits, what I would do is I would would add together the two numbers, like for example, 12. And I would see if the result, the sum, was divisible by three. So when I add one plus two, I get three. Is three on the three times tables? Three, six, nine, 12, it is. So just like I knew, a 12 is a divisible by three. Let's check it with 51. And if you want a full length video on this, I highly suggest you watch it. The sum of digits is brilliant. It's amazing why it works. But um, this one, I'm not gonna get into why it works. I'm just gonna show you the trick. So 51, I'm gonna sum the digits, the individual numbers within 51, five and one. And five plus one gives me six. Six is on the three times tables, three, six, nine. So I know 51 is divisible by a three. Let's check out 49. 49, if you added together those individual digits, 4 plus 9, you'd get 13. Now, is 13 on the 3 times tables? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? No, it's not. And so 49 is not divisible by 3. Now, if you don't believe me, you could always just come try to do the long division. Some students hate my method. They're like, sum a digits trick? What in the world? And I'm like, fine, if you don't like it, you just get to do long division every time. And I know you don't like long division either. But take a look. When I did long division, I ended up with the remainder. 49 is not perfectly divisible by 3, so it is not a multiple of 3. Let's keep trying. So if I were going to check 72, again, I could just add the digits, 7 plus 2. 7, 8, 9 is 9 on the 3 times tables. It sure is. So so is 72. And let's ch check 26. By adding 2 plus 6, I get 8. Is 8 on the 3 times tables? It's not. So 26 is not divisible by 3. Super nice trick. Makes this problem 
easy. And we'll also make reducing fractions easy if you know this trick. All right, so correct answers are A, B, and D once again. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer it.